Hello, AI enthusiasts and prompt explorers. In today's video, I delve into the realm of previously non-existing art styles that push the boundaries of creativity. My name is Thane, and I have selected 50 totally made-up art style names and put them in order by my own preferences. In the process, I used Claude AI to come up with random names for art styles that don't yet exist. Then I turned to Mid Journey and used the names as prompts for images. After that I also prompted each of the style names along with another word or concept. The words I selected were, Gladiator, I was kind of inspired by the latest event with Grimes where this was one of the themes and I really liked what came out. Hummingbird, I wanted to include a different kind of animal than I have used before. Living Architecture Blueprint I wanted to switch up the look of the image media a little bit and combine it with architecture in some way. Tree One of my earlier staples and a surprisingly simple prompt that results in wonderful images with Midjourney version 6. After this, I repeated the same process with raw styles. Then I looked at all the images selected my favorites out of each type of prompt and assigned points to them from most to least liked by myself and then I summed up the points and got 50 of my favorite totally new and invented art styles out of the ones I tried out. I also want to point out that some of them are really easily overpowered by the other words of the prompt, but it was an interesting experiment to test out stuff that doesn't necessarily make sense and see what happens. It also gives a really good look on the default style of Midjourney's version 6. But there are some really good ones, at least in my opinion, that retain their style even when combined with more words. Anyway, let me know what you think of these and if you agree with my selections or would you have put these in a totally different order. Let's get going. Number 50. Lithomergism. Rock or gemstone. Mineral surfaces merged with organic or biomorphic textures, creating mesmerizing geological artworks that blur the lines between the inorganic and living realms. These compositions celebrate the beauty found in both crystalline structures and undulating, natural forms. Number 49. Liminal Macabre, dark, haunting artworks focused on transitional, transformative states and symbolic death imagery. Delving into the unsettling yet fascinating realms of mortality, metamorphosis, and the liminal spaces between different existential phases. Number 48. Nanopuncturism, dystopian sci-fi cityscapes merged with pointillistic dot techniques, resulting in gritty, Technologically advanced urban landscapes constructed from countless tiny particles, evoking a sense of both futurism and fragmentation. Number 47. Zena Baroque, bizarre alien interpretations of Baroque grandeur, architecture, and representational art. Reimagining the ornate and elaborate in unsettlingly foreign and extraterrestrial forms, challenging our perceptions of beauty and the familiar. Number 46. Cryptoformism. Art embedded with steganographic ciphers and encrypted symbolic code. Creating visually striking pieces that conceal hidden messages and meanings beneath their surface, inviting viewers to decipher the underlying secrets. Number 45. Nusferism, conceptual art exploring humanity's prospective future role within the Earth's hypothetical newsphere. A realm where human consciousness and planetary processes merge, envisioning our species' potential cosmic integration. Number 44. Infinite Decadence, ornate, hyperstylic art overflowing with complexity, fractal patterns, and maximalist excess. Celebrating the beauty of intricate, layered designs that seem to extend infinitely, defying simplicity and embracing unbridled elaboration. Number 43. Imploscopturism. 
three-dimensional sculpture generated through controlled implosive compression forces, resulting in abstract, contorted forms that appear to collapse in on themselves, challenging traditional notions of sculpture and density. Number 42, Quantum Grotesque, unsettling surrealistic imagery illustrating theoretical quantum phenomena at a subatomic scale. Depicting the strange and often distorted realities that emerge at the fundamental levels of existence, Number 41. Compufolklorism, intricately detailed generative artwork based on cultural folklore and myth-making. Fusing ancient narratives with cutting-edge computational techniques to create intricate, symbolic pieces steeped in tradition yet exploring new frontiers. Number 40. Kernel Pathography, medical or scientific visualizations of the microscopic pathogens that infect kernel seeds, rendering the invisible world of disease and contamination in vivid, educational detail to raise awareness and understanding. Number 39. Entropica flow, ornate floral or botanical patterns in a state of simulated digital decay merging the beauty of nature with the concept of entropy, creating striking visuals that seem to deteriorate and disintegrate before the viewer's eyes. Number 38. Geometer Basic geometric shapes stretched and contorted into intricate flowing forms that defy their rigid mathematical origins. These pieces use geometry as a foundation but twist vectors into sinuous, organic-looking designs that appear malleable and fluid. Number 37. Quadrimetrism, cubist portraiture multiplied and exploring quadruplicate multiplicative perspectives. Shattering the singular viewpoint into a fragmented quartet of interpretations, forcing the viewer to piece together a unified, yet multifaceted whole. Number 36. Entronochrome, vermicular patterns emulating entwined networks of subterranean roots or mycelia, bringing to vivid life the intricate, sprawling systems that course beneath the surface, unseen yet vital to ecological flourishing. Number 35. Sumerodroidism, Cuneiform inscribed automated droid figures encapsulating ancient Middle Eastern myths, fusing primordial narratives with visions of future technology to create thought-provoking juxtapositions of past and present. Number 34. Metapangeanism, planetary-scale artworks, integrating all terrestrial and atmospheric visual elements, encompassing the totality of Earth's diverse environments and phenomena into unified, awe-inspiring compositions of global scope. Number 33. Venerolithic, aged antique artworks with surfaces degraded into Venusian or extraterrestrial terrain envisioning how ancient artifacts may appear after eons of erosion and alien environmental exposure, inviting philosophical reflection. Number 32. Entropy Graph, generative art based on mathematical entropy, disorder, and computational randomness producing visuals that seem to teeter on the edge of chaos while still exhibiting underlying patterns and structure. Number 31. Synapsistralism. Neural network art algorithmically generating starfield or nebula-like visuals mapped from brain synapse patterns 
merging the cosmic vistas of deep space with the biological architecture of human cognition. Number 30. Phytonecrohexis, portraiture embedded within kaleidoscopic geometric plant or fungus patterns, creating hypnotic, fractal-like effects that blend the natural world with surreal, psychedelic motifs of growth and decay. Number 29. Psychopomp Futurism. Transhumanist interpretations of mythological afterlife guides or psychopomps. Reimagining these symbolic entities that escort souls through the realm of the dead, using speculative science and imaginings of post-human evolution. Number 28. Quantum Haikuism. Abstract visualizations of poetic haiku imagery or narratives through quantum physics. Rendering the fleeting moments and natural observations captured in haiku verse using principles of quantum theory and subatomic motifs. Number 27. Sizey Structuralism. Architectonic natural or urban structures aligned with cosmic orbital mechanics creating fascinating hybrids of the built environment with celestial choreographies, as if constructed in tune with the motions of planets and stars. Number 26. Datapunk Casso. Cubist interpretations of cyberpunk themes and hacker culture, iconography. Dismantling and reassembling the gritty futurism of the cyberpunk aesthetic through the avant-garde lens of analytical cubist deconstruction. Number 25. Neuromorphic abstraction, non-representational art inspired by neuromorphic engineering and brain-like, computational architectures giving abstract form to the complexities and pathways of organic and artificial neural networks. Number 24. Diamond synthesis, seamlessly blended diverse dimensions or realms dissolved into unified coherent artworks. Crafting seamless visual confluences of parallel universes, alternate realities, and higher planes of existence into single meta-landscapes. Number 23. Mythopunk, neo-futuristic interpretations and remixes of ancient mythological figures and archetypes. Recontextualizing classic myths through a contemporary lens of sci-fi speculation, cyberpunk grit, and technological extrapolation. Number 22. Cosmo Dismo, animated retro-futurist illustrations integrating whimsical spacefaring elements and characters. Blending mid-20th century futurist visions with modern surrealist space exploration and alien world-building concepts. Number 21. Hypercubism, multidimensional evolution of cubism depicting hypercube or tesseract structures and geometries. Embracing the fourth spatial dimension and beyond, to create optically illusory, geometrically complex compositions. Number 20. Spirituautics. Aerogel-infused organic artworks emulating nano-spiritual concepts through semi-translucent levities. Using the ethereal properties of aerogels to give physical representation to intangible mystical ideas and visions. Number 19. Chromo-expressionism, a style blending bold expressionistic brushwork with vivid, clashing colors in an emotionally intense way, creating visceral, gestural works that seem to burst with kinetic energy and raw feeling.
Number 18. Toroidal Holography, 3D Rendered Holographic Artworks Exploring Torus-Shaped Geometries. Bringing to visual life the unique donut-like topology as light sculptures and immersive installations defying conventional dimensionality. Number 17. Gravitinology, artistic expressions depicting theoretical hyperdimensional gravitational singularities. Endeavoring to give form to the infinitely dense and warped realms predicted by cutting-edge physics using abstract, contorted imagery. Number 16. Transfuturism, utopian or dystopian artwork, extrapolating radical social technological transformations of the future. Envisioning how human civilization may evolve or be upended by disruptive innovations and paradigm shifts yet to come. Number 15. Biomechanicosmism, eccentric fusion of biomechanical and cosmic motifs depicting hypothetical cosmological life forms, combining organic, mechanical and celestial elements into speculative entities thriving amongst the stars and nebulae. Number 14. Technoprimalism, vibrant primitive or tribal art integrated with robotic or technological components. Blurring the lines between the ancient and modern by incorporating advanced machinery and circuitry into traditional artisanal aesthetics. Number 13. Arctogonism. Hard-edged, geometric compositions emulating animal musculature or anatomy. Using angular polygonal shapes to construct hyper-stylized, yet anatomically recognizable representations of creatures and beasts. Number 12. Eratogenesis. Intricate sculptural representations of atmospheric flow dynamics and weather pattern generation. Striving to capture the complex, swirling motions that drive air currents, cloud formations and meteorological phenomena. Number 11. Kaleido multivectors, abstract fractal geometries integrated with flowing multivectorial directional forces. Combining kaleidoscopic, repeating patterns with streamlined currents and converging trajectories for dizzying, hypnotic effects. Number 10. Galactic Deco. Retrofuturistic art deco motifs combined with cosmic or galactic imagery. Fusing early 20th century ornate architectural aesthetics with depictions of planets, stars, and deep space scenery. Number 9. Cyberpunk Realism. Gritty, photorealistic depictions of dystopian futuristic cityscapes and cyber-enhanced humans or technology. Rendering speculative visions with a hyper-realistic level of detail for disturbing plausibility. Number 8. Xenoarchia Futurism, Futuristic Extrapolations of Undiscovered Alien Archaeological Artifact Remnants. Imagining the potential material culture and technological artifacts of advanced civilizations humans have yet to encounter. Number 7. Yin Symbiogonism. Harmonious biomorphic geometries, suggestive of balanced, symbiotic mutualism. Creating organic, living motifs evocative of organisms existing in collaborative, synergistic relationships with one another. Number 6. Voxel Mannerism. Dynamic human figures and forms sculpted from voxel-based 3D modeling techniques producing highly stylized, 
yet fluidly posed depictions of the human form using volumetric pixel compositions. Number 5. Cydroidalism. Droid-like robot characters blended with surreal visionary psychedelic aesthetics. Combining mechanistic automata with vibrant, hallucinatory imagery inspired by transcendental experiences. Number 4. Entropy Glitch. Avant-garde video distortion or data-bending art created by corrupting or manipulating digital files. Embracing the glitches, artifacts and signs of digital decay as part of the artistic vision. Number 3. Astro-metaphysical. Abstract cosmic artwork representing concepts from metaphysics and philosophy through celestial imagery. Giving visual form to existential and fundamental questions about reality using astronomical phenomena. Number 2. Fractal Fauvism. Vibrant paintings composed of fractal geometries and patterns inspired by the fauvist use of pure unmixed colors, creating vivid, mathematically generated artworks with a wild, unbridled palette. Number 1. Ultra Glitchism. Hyper distorted, pixelated images pushed to the limits of digital artifacts celebrating the maximum degree of visual glitching, compression and error for an excessive, uncompromising aesthetic of digital decay. And that was the last one. I really hope you enjoyed this experiment and found something new to try out yourself. You may have noticed that the descriptions of the invented styles did not always exactly match to Midjourney's interpretations. So here is one more trick to try out. Try to use the descriptions of these made-up styles as the prompt and you will get totally different looking results. Thank you so much for watching and let's continue prompting.